We need a bike peep now because, you know, very soon we won't need a car. We won't need the RTA bus. Well, we'll still need the RTA bus Absolutely. to get around. But there's going to be a bike share program, and Dayton's going to have 200 bikes to share. Mark with RTA is here with the great details. This is very exciting. All right, so a year, about a year from now. Just about a year from now, we plan to launch the program in the spring of 2015. We're really excited about it. 22 stations to start up. Over all 200 All bikes. over downtown? All over what I would call the greater downtown, from UD to the Art Institute really? area, right Dunbar to St. Anne's Hill. It's going to be a great, great coverage as a startup for a bike share program. So what will these stations be like? Well, they'll, they'll be very heavy duty. They're solar powered. They're very high tech because every bike has a GPS locator on it, okay. and they all lock in the stations. And you have to use a card, be a member to swipe to release a bike, and then ride it anywhere you like, but then return it to any of the other stations. And that's the whole idea behind the program: is it's transportation first, make the first or last mile connections, or for say people who ride the RTA who say, I need my car in the middle of the day, they can run errands with the bike in the middle of the day, return the bikes, and then, you know, go home on the bus. And you're looking at video right there. Dayton is great for biking. It's perfect. Oh, absolutely. I always felt, you know, I've been here eight years, the geography here is perfect for bikes in general. So that made it even easier for us to say we're a great place to launch a bike share program. We'll be only the second one in Ohio to launch. Columbus started up this year, uh, but we'll be number two. That is, that's just awesome. So where do you get a membership and how much will it cost? Or is that still being worked it's out? It's all being worked out, the costs are, but I can tell you that uh, Bike Miami Valley, who has been around for many years here, is a nonprofit group. They are gonna manage that end of the operation, the memberships and the selling of sponsorships at the stations. And you just register online, and that way, when it, once you're a member, you can go to any station and you get so many, you'll get so many minutes use of the bike for free as a member. Okay. And then if you extend further and further out, say I get on the bike path and decide, heck, I wanna just keep riding for a while because it's lunchtime, you may pay, pay a small fee in addition for the additional minutes. But it works just like that. It's very simple to use. Uh, there are about 23 cities in the country right now that have them. Uh, there were only five, I think, a few years ago. It's, it's the next great thing. You know, that cities are looking to, to do what we call placemaking, be the sort of place that young people especially want to live, work, and yeah. play. That's what this is all about. You wouldn't need a car if you lived downtown. You wouldn't. Uh, in fact, you could live in the suburbs, ride our buses in, and do the same thing. Make that's all those true. connections. And that's the idea, you know, that people can use this as an option. And what we found in most cities is it's extremely popular as soon as it hits the ground. I'm sure it will grow. And, and you know, when you go to the bigger cities, you can do this. Right. And, and that's part of Dayton's goal, too, is to attract people and use things like this bike share to get more tourists here to Dayton. Well, well I'd like to say in true Dayton style, we've kind of looked at what everyone else did around the yeah. country, and we've developed a hybrid model that we think is going to operate the system more efficiently, make it better, and then hopefully make it cheaper for the residents of our community, and make it that one next asset that we have in Dayton to attract people and new businesses to downtown. So everyone wants to know, where's the funding com coming from? Well, the initial funding came through MVRPC. There was a highway project in the region here that actually came in well under budget. And these funds had to be obligated in a program uh, by June. And the bike share was ready to go. RTA has been ready from the beginning to be the owner, the maintainer, and the physical operator of the system. So we worked with MVRPC in the city of Dayton Kudos to the city. The city put up the entire local match, $250,000 for the program. So we've obligated the funds. We're going to you know, do a procurement this year, and by next spring, we'll be ready to launch. More information? Is it out there yet, or are you holding you, off? You can go to our website at iriderta.org, okay. or you know, downtown Dayton Partnership, downtowndayton.org, or just call us. Okay. Thank you. Thank Great you, Great idea. That's exciting. We're excited about it. Stay with us. Coming up.